As Montreal celebrates Pride, LGBTQ groups see rise in hateful messages online. And Mont uh, as okay, so this is the so Montreal's Pride is just happening. In, okay, so Montreal kicks off its 2019 Pride Festival with music, performance art, and much celebration. Uh, the organization that built built it all. all for Okay, I can I'm not even going to try. Has expressed concern about the rising tide of online hate. And Jean Sebastian Bro Bord I don't know Bordru I don't know the group. Bordru I don't know. Bordru I think it is French. So uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. The the group's vice president told Radio Canada uh, that. For, okay, has received whatever the name is, has received more than one thousand homophobic and hate-filled comments. Wait, so is it, how do we know if this is less than before or more than before? Like, do we know it's more than before? Is it actually increasing? And if it's increasing, why is it increasing? This is Montreal. This is one of the most secular cities in the planet. What? I think I think he said that it has been on a uh, rise recently because of like uh, some political. I mean the rise of the alt right in many countries like Brazil, Hungary, USA, India. Like they have been like uh, giving out like anti LGBT stance and those policies, those politicians when they are saying this stuff, it is also I mean making the youth go against them and. Uh, giving out hate speeches against the LGBTQ. Right. I yeah, think but it's on a rise. Is it, is it, okay, but is it? Do we know it's because of the alt right? Is uh, or is it? I mean, he he said that he, he said uh, that. He, mm. Yeah, in this in this article, it is said it is also said that he also cites other world leaders whose anti LGBTQ remarks and policies have been in the news this summer, including Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro or Hungary's Viktor Orban. I don't know. This guy does. I don't know if he, I think he's just guessing why, right? Like I, it doesn't like. Do are we really saying that? What's happening in Brazil is creating more online homophobic threats in Canada? No, what I think is like, I mean, there are always people who have like this uh, homophobia, underlying homophobia in them. I mean, most societies, many societies where, uh, which are really religious and stuff, like they are patriarchal and they have like this homophobic uh, ideologies inside them, even they if they are not expressive about it but when they see like famous people like some politician or someone else speaking against the lgbtq people and so they themselves think like okay so i'm right my ideology is not exactly wrong so i should speak against it as well and they come out as anti lgbtq people well i mean you could be and i mean you could be anti you could think LG, you know, being gay is wrong, and you're wrong. I mean, that that's something we disagree with, but that's not necessarily homophobic, is it? Like, if somebody think like, no. I think being gay is a sin, we could that is that homophobic? I could be like, well, you're wrong. It's not a sin. There's no such thing as a sin. Or if you say, well, I think it's immoral, and like, well, no, this is the we could tell them that this is the reason why it's not immoral. But I think when I have somebody says homophobic, I think like more than just that. I think homophobic is somebody that actually hates gay people. Right? I think it's different. Yeah, that, what what you were saying is like they're intolerant of gay people to right. for them to be homophobic. But I mean, uh, even if they're like. Uh, uh, they say that being homosexual or gay is wrong then I mean in a broader sense that can be considered as homophobic actually no because I mean if somebody okay. thinks a I mean I'm an atheist if somebody thinks atheism yeah. is wrong I don't think they're they're hateful towards atheists but if they say like oh fuck atheists they all deserve to die they're like okay you're hateful of atheists but if somebody says that you know, I love atheists. I think atheism is wrong, and I'm worried, I'm worried they're gonna go to hell. I don't think that's hateful. I think they're just wrong, right? Okay, uh, yeah, that is means it's not homophobia. I mean, it's not always about 
hate like some people are genuinely afraid of gays from what i've seen like yeah yeah they, that's homophobia know, phobia, uh, yeah. yeah that's, that's homophobia i mean they're not exactly like oh no you should die you should it's wrong you should die uh, it's yeah. abomination and everything they're not like that they're just saying oh, oh no he's gay uh, let's stay away from him all right well, okay I, i don't want to expose my kid to him they're not outright hateful yeah but they're like not exactly man you uh-huh. you know what i mean yeah 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 but i'm just saying both of those situations are i consider homophobic but i think if somebody just says like hey i don't i think i don't think this is right i don't think they're that's homophobic i think they're just wrong by the way the top comment is actually uh, interesting <laughs> charles this is our top comment by the way uh saying love how people think they can be proud of accomplishments that are in there so actually this, this is this are um, are in theirs I think the grammar is wrong here. It should be theirs. But so Charles is saying that, um, look like at this story, and instead of pointing out the increase in hateful messages online, he's focusing on the pride part of the story, right? He's saying, like, he's, he's pointing out that he's, he, apparently he's anti-pride because people are claiming you know proud of thing like being gay is not an accomplishment so this is what he deciding to target what do you think what do you say to charles i have responses uh well i have many responses i mean i know many people who think like this like okay you are gay so what you don't have anything to be proud i mean okay they have lived a life full of like uh, shun- uh, they have been shunned by their closest family members and friends i mean many of them have been and it is a proud thing to be out in my yeah if you ask me so i mean they have they have uh, absolutely they have the right to be proud of who they are and if they are out of the closet so that, even if they are not uh, they have yeah. they can be proud i mean because why not they are living i mean they are living a very hard life it's uh, compared to straight people gay people trans people they live very difficult lives right and I, i can i can like Well, say this first hand because I live a very difficult life because of that. All right. So this is this is the way I think about this. I think like you said being out, right? So I think you you, you shouldn't be proud of anything that you had no cho- decision, in, right? But you shouldn't also be ashamed of anything that you should had no decision, in, right? So the pride for me in gay pride is not about being gay. It's about being gay and being open about it because so the fact is that you decided to come out as gay that is not something that was biological right coming out as being brave enough especially in places where people are very anti-gay or be doing gay rights activism or just not, not even if in places where it's now normalized just making sure that you are open about being gay just to keep it normalized those decisions those are not biology those are decisions that you're making to normalize being gay so i think the way i want the way i justify gay pride is the is the pride is not about being gay because you had you know again i agree that you can't be proud of something you had no say in the proud the proud of the, the pride in gay pride is about I have decided to make sure that being gay is normalized by being open about being gay like that, right? And when it comes to just being gay, I think this what we should and nothing else like I think the focus should be on not being ashamed. You know, there's nothing wrong with you for being, you know, instead of being proud of it, you shouldn't I, I think and that it should be you shouldn't be ashamed of it. But I think it's okay to say you can be proud of announcing and op- that you're gay and not being o- open about being gay and doing gay rights activism because that's actually something that you're doing what do you think yeah i agree i mean uh, this pride fest they're not just about they themselves bring proud of themselves i mean it also helps in normalizing everything to the society right and not just their society even all around the world when people see what they're up to what they're doing everything It, right. it slowly gets normalized it doesn't get normalized overnight but it uh, the people start to think about it like they're just normal people uh, there's nothing wrong with them and everything right and that's what you should be proud of exactly like, 
you are changing the society into a better society. That's something to be proud of. Yeah, I agree. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.